Hey, hey, rock stars. I just wanted to come in and congratulate you on the best kickoff to three for 31 that we've ever had um, in all the times that we've done this. And it just feels like such a honor to kick off this month with you. I wanted to just finally pop in and say happy December. We are here and I wanted to do like a little self check, gut check. Um, I posted about it in the group earlier, but stress check. Um, how are you feeling? Like, how are you doing these first three days of the challenge, these first three days of December? Where's your heart at? I always call it like a heart check um, with my clients and we like to do them at the beginning of the month. We like to do them at the end of the month and kind of go, okay, what worked well last month? What, what are my goals for this coming month? Um, for those of you crushing three for 31 this week, use those kind of top three tips that I shared as we kicked off this journey of number one, like map out what time this week are you going to be able to get your workout in? What time are you going to set aside? Like put it on the calendar, tell your family that you're doing this challenge so that they can support you. I know when Paul tells me like, Hey babe, I'm going to be in the living room. I need a 30 minute like stretch yoga session. That allows me to know, okay, for 30 minutes, he needs the kids not in there crawling on him. He needs the dogs out of the room. He needs his like 30 minute focus. So sometimes if you just let people know, right in your family what you need or the goal you're striving for that can help so much I know one of my friends every morning she likes to jump on her peloton but she needs hubby's help to watch the kiddos so what do you need who can you ask to help support you in your goals and can you map it out Monday through next Sunday what time are you going to fit your 30 minutes in um, I saw a lot of you printed out your tracker. That's perfect. Keep that bad boy in a place where you're going to see it every single day, um, where you can check it off and check off those 30 minutes, check off your PD. I am so proud of you guys for jumping into growth day app. That is something new, um, for myself too, and a new journey for me of journaling and I've always been like a steward of personal development and always loved PD, but this feels different, like the daily fires and being new in this app. I am loving it. Um, I have especially loved when you guys text me and you go, hey, I listened to this Mel Robbins thing, or hey, I listened to this Ed Milet thing, or hey, this Trent Shelton one was awesome. Keep sharing those. Keep sharing them in the group. Keep sharing them with each other. Keep sharing them with me because that allows me, like I'm so new to the app too, I can go in and listen to it and we can just like kind of have this mastermind round robin, pass along the amazing info. I think everything in there could bless so many people's lives. Even if I've noticed, even if you don't listen to something that like hits you, like maybe you're not in that season right now where it hits, all of a sudden the universe, God, whatever you believe in has this way of putting somebody in your path pretty soon after that you end up sharing that piece of information that you just heard with someone who needs it. So super cool way to even just pass it forward, pay it forward, especially as we go into this holiday season where people need hope and they need light and they need your positivity. And I feel like that apps everything and just connecting as I was journaling this week it like brings up some emotions for you or it brings up just a lot of self-awareness of things that you can start to work on. So that's what I wanted to share to this week is what can we unpack? What did you notice in this past month that worked really well for you? But more importantly for me, sometimes it's the things that didn't work as well as I might've liked and unpacking that almost like if you were a car, like opening up the hood and going, okay, what's, what's underneath this? So for instance, if it's nutrition, right? Is it that you're not sure what foods to eat, what healthy foods are? Is it, for most of you, I think a lot of you know uh, what does well for your body, what doesn't. Is it if you're doing like portion fix, one of our nutrition plans right now. Is it, I know my containers, I have my containers out, I know my food groups. Is it, no, I just need to prioritize time to get to the grocery store. I need to prioritize meal prep on a Sunday so that I have some fruits and veggies ready to go in the fridge and I don't have to prep those during the week. I don't know about you, but for me, if like any veggie, like bell pepper, cucumber, I think that's kind of a fruit, any veggie is not already prepped or fruit, is not already washed, prepped, cut, like it will rot away in there, including like a bag of 
lettuce. <laughs> like I need to have that prepped and ready to go so that I actually eat it throughout the week. So maybe that's something that you could prep up if we're talking nutrition. I know that's not part of three for 30, but as you start feeling better and moving your body and your mindset's getting in the right place, I think you'll start to notice the compound effect of those things carry over into other areas of your life like nutrition. So the question as we head into, at the, as we end, wrap up this first week is like, okay, where are you at? How are you feeling? What things did you notice that maybe came up that you're like, okay, I need to unpack that a little further. I need to dive into that. And how can I take better steps to be a better student of that or to really rock that as I come into this week and do better in that certain area? So for, for some of you, it might be, okay, I almost missed, you know, my workouts this week because I didn't prioritize the time. I have to shout out Jenna, who's in our three for 30 group. She was going on vacation, I think starting tonight. And she's like, I just don't know how I'm going to get everything packed and get the kids going and get my workout in. But I know I'll feel so much better if I just do it. It's just a lot. And she just went out in the, her gym in the garage and she just made it happen. So shout out to you, Jenna. And she just like, sometimes if like we spend the 30 minutes just overthinking it, in reality, we could just get out and do a 30 minute walk. The clarity too that comes when you move your body will help her be more efficient in her packing, in making sure she has everything because the mindset's right because we moved our body. So super cool. Just a couple of things that I wanted, a couple people I want to shout out and um, just all of you for doing such an amazing job in these first three days. Um, for me personally, it was just a good week of jumping into movement. Uh, Friday night, yeah, the slow Christmas parade threw my back out, something I've never done. Completely pulled like gnarly muscle in the back. I was immobile that night and the next day. Could not get out of bed. Paul had to help me down the stairs into the living room. And if it were not for this challenge, I would have not done my movement that day. And uh, But I made a promise to myself and I made a promise to you guys and I made a promise to my husband and my kids that for December, I'm gonna be the best version of me. I'm gonna summon the best version of me that I possibly can for this month. And that includes PD, which you guys are all doing with me for growth day. That includes moving my body. That includes feeding it really well. That includes no alcohol. That includes getting rid of the processed sugar. That includes, for me, my nutrition plan, right? And when I make a commitment to somebody else, like my family, for some of you, it's like your accountability buddy, your spouse maybe, your kids for my instance, when I told them and committed to them, like, I'm going to be the best version of me. I'm going to get my movement in every single day for 30 days. I'm going to, I'm going to not drink alcohol. I'm going to not, you know, have sugar, all the things you end up becoming the best version of yourself for yourself at the same time. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm the first to let myself down, but I would never let somebody else down. So if you need to make that commitment and that promise to somebody else, and in that journey of keeping that promise, you become your best self at the same time, that's a freaking win-win. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, so let's charge it this week. Let's go all in. Um, I can't wait to see what movement you guys do. I can't wait to see how it snowballs into other areas of your life. I know some of you told me that your walks in the evening have been the best connection time that you've had with your hubby in months. And I absolutely honor and respect that. And I get it. Um, I know that some of you said, I have not worked out for three days in a row in years. This has been the first time and I'm really freaking proud of you. So how do you want to go into this week? How do you want to go into December? Like we are three days in, this is going to be an amazing month and an amazing close to 2024. And that's really what I, what I want to ask is how do you want to wrap up 2024? Like, how do you want to feel? Who do you want to show up for? Um, what's that best version? of yourself look like. I think we're tapping into two major aspects of it with this three for 30 group and that's mindset and that's moving your body. And I'll never be able to tell you enough how proud of you guys I am and what an honor it is to be on this journey with you. So happy first three days. Um, keep the questions coming. The questions have been amazing. I'm trying to answer as we go and share the questions in the group too, so that I'm sure other people have the same questions. Um, but 
so far so good. I feel like you guys are doing amazing. Uh, as far as the trackers go, you can post your tracker once a week in the group. You can post it every day in the group. There's no requirement, no minimum of how often to post the tracker. Just by the end of the month, I'll ask for a picture of all of your trackers. Um, and then what was another good question? Oh, the ba -ba -da -da. oh movement and PD. So the personal development piece on the Growth Day app only has to be three days a week. Um, it doesn't have to be every single day, though some of you are tapping into those daily fires and you're like, I want to listen to this every day. That was another question. They expire. They expire. There's not a place on the website or on the app that you can find them after the 24 hours. Brendan puts them up. He creates them. He's up there up for 24 hours and then they're down. Um, so listen to them when they go up. Anchor it. That was my tip too before we started this. Anchor it to something listening to that, anchor it to a habit that you already do every day and that will remind you to do it. So for me, something that's been really helpful is when my alarm goes off first thing in the morning, I just open up the Growth Day app and I hit play. And it's the first thing I listen to because I'm usually laying there in bed slowly waking up anyway. And so I'm filling my mind with that positivity and those awesome thoughts of the day. And then you usually, what, go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, get dressed. By the time I do those three things, the daily fire is done and then you're starting your day. So anchor it to something you're already going to do every day. And that's a good way to remember to listen to it every day. Um, the journaling in there, the journals are all, uh, I can't see obviously your answers, which is awesome. It's all private. It's even coded. Brendan assured us of all of that in his tech team that it's all coded so that they can never see it on their end. So that's completely private. Trying to think if there were any other questions. Oh, um, somebody asked today, can I do three miles instead of 30 minutes? Absolutely. Um, my friend is a nurse. She's a nurse in the NICU and I'm pretty sure she gets like 10,000 steps every day on her Apple watch. So way more than three miles. So that absolutely counts. And a lot of you have been breaking it up. Some movement in the morning, some movement in the evening. That's perfect too. Let's just keep it going. Keep sharing. Keep encouraging each other. I know when you guys share, even if you feel embarrassed or you're like, I don't know these people and I'm sharing this really like vulnerable photo or this vulnerable post in this group, you are inspiring so many people by sharing it. So keep them coming. I'm so proud of you. I'm in the trenches with you and we're going to crush December. All right, you guys. Happy day. Are we still on the 3rd of December? It's still there. I swear that back issue that really threw me off um all right let's go into monday feeling strong happy third of december i'll see you tomorrow